Peter from Bug Eye Guys, and this is Gumby, a very seriously customized Super Sprite. All kinds of deluxe features, leather, diamond stitching, custom stitching. You may have seen this car on our site, a lot of color matching on the frame and green color matching on the wheels. And I wanted to show you Gumby because we're working on our next Super Sprite, which is a Sage car, we call the car Sage. And I wanted to just share a little bit of our process to get it to look like this and kind of bring you up to speed. It's a fascinating project because we, we had this car painted. It's a really nice restoration unfolding with a 1380 high performance Ocelli engine and a five speed transmission and all new brake lines. So it's a full restoration, a rotisserie restoration. And I chose this color, but what color interior? Hmm, doesn't come with instructions. So we're on our own. And what we, we agonized over this, I agonized over this quite a while, but what we went with was this sort of camel colored wool uh, square weave carpet with tan binding. And then we invested in a really nice hide for the seats, which I'll show you on this side. Both seats are done, they're not bolted in, but I just wanted to sort of assemble this for the video. This is the hide here. And, it's a really gorgeous figured leather. So we use this on the seats. We chose the sections that had modeling and tried to sort of highlight that. And then we chose tan thread to coordinate with the carpet and tan piping to coordinate with the sort of this earthy theme that's going on. And don't be fooled by, this is just a, a working shift tower. It's there's a sage tower that will go in the car. This is just to fit the carpet. So we sewed all these pieces and of course built the seats out of the hide. And then we have this extra, another hide here of an even more modeled, more figured uh, leather hide, which is a really gorgeous piece of leather. And so this will be used on the dashboard we wanted to have something unique that stood out, so it will also be on the dash trim bar, but not too radical. So the seats are a little bit more mellow, the dashboard a little bit more amped up. By the time this is all cut out with the handles and the gauges, it will, it will tone down a little bit. But this is our creative process. Here's some off cuttings of this leather. Um, a fascinating part of our work here, and I love this. It's kind of like being the interior designer and making all these choices. The same way this building was a lot of choices for lighting and colors, so too is the interior of this car to try to make something special. You know, we, we have, uh, I have the number one car, not in the building, it's in my home at the moment, but that car is completely stock, completely accurate, just like the day it was built. This car is not at all stock, not at all accurate. It's a reimagined, reinterpreted Bug Eye Sprite, just like Gumby is. We try to keep the DNA of the car intact, but then go nuts with the pieces and the accessories and the details. Just amping up this to color match stanchions was a lot of fun for us, and we're really happy with the results. Same with the color match wheels. So building out a car like Sage, it's a similar exciting process and we'll keep you posted as this car comes together. We'll have a nice wooden steering wheel, of course, that will coordinate with all these creams and brown colors. And um, that's what we're working on this week here at Bug Eye Guys. Mm -hmm.